Very good, uh, good afternoon to all. Today we will discuss the sustainable construction technology. Uh, today we will discuss the topic is uh, topic 3 foundation. In the foundation we will discuss the uh, first we will discuss the definition of foundation, then function of foundation, then type of foundation. So, these three topics we'll discuss in foundation. First foundation. Foundation is nothing but is the lowest portion of the structure uh, which transfer the load into the supporting soil. So, the main purpose of the foundation is distribute the total weight of the structure uh, over large area of the soil. So, next function of foundation. First load distribution. So, the, fun uh, the foundation transfer the load from the substructure uh, superstructure to the uh, underlying the soils. It ensues the uh, weight of the building along with the any additional load like occupant, furniture and equipment is very distributed to the prevent ex uh, excessive settlement or structural failure. Next is stability and the support. The foundation is provide the st stable base of the stru uh, entire structures to prevent the tilting, sliding or overturning due to the external force like wind, seismic activity and uneven soil settlement. So, the foundation is stability ensure the overall stability of the building. Next is settlement control. So, uh, the foundation are designed to minimize the different settlement uh, which occurs the when different part of the building settlement at uh, different rates. So, the different settlement it can lead to the cracks, uh, distortion and uh, structural issues. So, the proper foundation design is to help the distribute the uh, loads to prevent the uneven settlement. Next protection against the moisture and the soil movement. So, the well designed foundation it is helped to the protect the uh, structure from the moisture infiltration and the soil movement. It provide, uh, it, it provide, uh, prevents the ground water from the seeping to the structure which can uh, cause the uh, deterioration and uh, damage to the building material. Next is structural in, uh, integrity. So, the strong and st stable foundation is most supported the structural element of the building. It includes the walls, wall, columns, beams and floors. It ensures the all the elements it is remain the intended positions and uh, maintain the structural inter integrity. Next uh, resistance to environmental force. So, the foundation is must withstand the various environmental force like uh, uh, wind, seismic, uh, seismic activity, temperature changes and uh, soil expansion or contraction. Uh, it acts a um, buffer between the superstructure and uh, uh, the ground uh, absorbing the absorbing and uh, uh, distributing the this force to the prevent damage. Next to transfer the lateral loads. In addition to vertical loads, Foundation also handle the lateral loads it caused by the wind, earthquake and uh, other lateral forces. So, the foundation is resistance to these loads to prevent the excessive sway, uh, swaying and uh, uh, ensure the stability of the buildings. So, next ins ins uh, insulation of ground condition. So, uh, the foundation is very uh, help to the insulate the building from the ground condition and include the temperature fluctuation, moistures and uh, pest. The insulation contribute to the comfort and uh, durability of the structure. Next connection to the utility. So, the foundation is often include the provision of the connecting the utility like uh, electrical, plumbing and uh, HVAC system to the buildings. So, these utility are crucible for the function of the success. Next integration uh, of the architecture design. So, the foundation it can be designed to the uh, accommodate the architecture features uh, layout and the aesthetics. For example, uh, the raised foundation is uh, it can create the crawl space and while the slab on, uh, on grade of the foundation is provide the uh, level surface of the ground floor. Next type of foundation. A foundation is a, we have two found, uh, types one is the shallow foundation and the deep foundation. First we will discuss the shallow foundation. So, shallow foundation is nothing but it is a when the depth of foundation is equal or less than its width 
that is the shallow foundation. In this foundation, the type of foundation is part uh, in situ the uh, intensely below the lowest part of the structures. So, the total load of structure is distributed over, over the horizontal area at shallow depth below the ground level. Next, different types of shallow foundation. One is the spread footing, combined footing, mat or raft footing, grillage foundation and eccentric load footing. These are the various shallow found, uh, types of shallow foundation. First is spread footing. Spread footing is the form of the foundation is designed and uh, built to the uh, whole of the substructure uh, elements like steel or concrete uh, column wall. Uh, so, it is the most gentle construction is used to keep the structure from the sinking into the earth. Uh, in uh, different types of sp spread footing is the one is the wall footing another one is the RCC footing. In wall footing in this type of footing is uh, um, course of bricks uh, is provided the below the superstructure by the giving the 50 mm outward the offset on either side of the walls. Next RCC footing, RCC footings are use, uh, used when the masonry wall is uh, subjected to very heavy load and uh, the bearing capacity of soil is very low. In this type of footing generally a 3 centimeter thick of layer of concrete is provided the before RCC footing is constructed over it. So, RCC footing is a reinforced bar or provider. So, the RC, generally the RCC column footing it may be square, rectangular or circular type is there. These are the spread footing. So, now discuss the construction method of spread footing. First, I excavated the area where the footing will be placed ensuring the excavation is deep enough to the reach stable soil. So, the construction wooden or steel formwork to shape the footing. So, place the layer the layer of compacted uh, gravel or sand at the bottom of excavation of, uh, for even low distributions. Pour and place the concrete mix into the formwork and ensuring the proper compaction to the eliminate the air pocket. Then allow the concrete to cure and gain the strength for before the removing of form work. Next combined footing. Combined footing is used when two or more column are closed to each other and their individual footing would overlap. So, combined footing may be either rectangular or trapezoidal. So, uh, now discuss the construction method for combined footing. So, excavated trends of the combined footing uh, ensure that it covers the area under the multiple columns. Then install the compact fill or granular material at the bottom of the trench. Then construct the formwork to shape the combined footing according the for the position of the columns. Then place the steel reinforcement within the formwork to handle the load from the sus uh, supported columns. Uh, then uh, pouring and place the concrete mix in the formwork and ensure the proper consolidation and the compaction. Then cure the uh, concrete and allow the it. Uh, achieved and the required strength. Next is stiff footing. Stiff footing are continuous footing that support the multiple column in the row. So, this is the typically used for the load bearing walls. This type of footing is distribute the weight of load bearing wall, it is across the area of ground. So, the footing is usually it is twice the width of the load bearing wall, sometimes even wider. Then construction method of uh, stiff footing. So, first the excavated trends along the alignment of strip footing and ensure the trends are wide and deep enough to the uh, footing uh, dimensions. So, then install the layer of compacted fill or granular material at the bottom of the trench. Next, construct the formwork along with the trenches and to shape the strip footing. Then reinforce the strip footing which help the steel ball. Uh, and uh, providing the adequate cover to the prevent the corrosions. Then pour and place the concrete mix to the formwork and ensure the proper consolidation and the compaction. Then last one is the cure the concrete and allow the uh, achieve the required strength. Next is strap footing. It is the outer and inner column is connected by the strap beam which does not transfer the any load to the underlying soil. Next uh, raft and mat foundation. This is the raft foundation is consists the dense reinforcement concrete slab which cover the total bottom area of the structures. So, this type of foundation is provided in the soil 
when the low bearing capacity, when structural loads are heavy. At the time, we can prefer the mat foundations. So, the mat foundation is the single connection slab that support the entire structure and distribute the load over the large area. Then next we will discuss construction method of raft condition. First excavate the entire building area to the uniform depth and uh, ac accounting the for the thickness of the mat foundation. Then install the layer of compacted fill or granular material to the provide the stable base. Then construct the form work around the perimeter on the mat and uh, around the any column locations. Then reinforcement of foundation with steel bar uh, to handle the structural load. Then pour and place the concrete mix, mix and ensure the proper consolidation and compaction. Last, we can do the cure, uh, cure the curing the concrete and allow the gain sufficient strength before proceeding the superstructure construction. Next, grillage foundation. So, when the load transferred by the wall or column is uh, exceptional uh, is very heavy or uh, and the soil bearing capacity is very low at the time also we can prefer the grillage foundation. So, the deep excavation are also excluded from this foundation. So, generally the grillage foundation two types one is the grill uh, steel grillage foundation another one is the timber grillage foundation. Next we will discuss the deep foundation. Uh, a yeah, deep foundation is the type of foundation uh, which the foundation is placed at the deeper depth below the ground level. So, the depth of foundation is much greater than its width. So, the different types of cat, uh, deep foundation, one is the pile foundation, coffer dam, cassian uh, foundation, these are the deep foundations. First, we will discuss the pile foundation. Pile foundation is nothing but is the type of foundation uh, where the slender member or wood or concrete or steel is insert in the ground for the transferring the load of the structures. So, the load is transferred to the strongest stratum by the friction or by the bearing. So, next when, uh, when to use the pile foundation? When the ground water table is high at the time we can prefer the pile foundation then heavy and ununiform loads from the superstructure are imposed. Uh, the other type of foundation are costlier or not feasible. When the soil is uh, low depth is compressible, when there is po there is possible to scoring and uh, due to the location near the river bed or seashore, uh, when there uh, canal or deep drainage system near the structure, when soil excavation is not possible up to the desired depth due to the poor soil condition. So, these are the various condition to select the pile foundation. Next classification of pile foundation is the different types of pile is there. One is the drive and pile, pour pile, uh, then uh, scant and uh, tangent pile, bearing pile, friction pile, sheet pile, fender pile, compaction pile. So, these are the various types of pile. First drive and pile. Drive and pile are installed by the using the impact force to the push or uh, drive the pile into the ground until the to reach the stable soil layers. Uh, this method is the choose the first we can choose the uh, appropriate pile types uh, based on the structural requirement and the soil condition. It is use heavy machinery and the pile uh, uh, drivers to impact the top of the piles and driving into the ground. Continuously impact to the pile until the required depth is achieved or pile is cap uh, capacity is met. If needed the split multiple piles sections is together to achieve the desired length. Then check the piles vertically and alignment during the installation and uh, ensure the proper bearing capacity and load distribution. Next board pile. So, board pile is uh, created by the drilling the coal uh, the hole, uh, hole into the ground and then the filling into concrete and ground. So, the construction method is nothing but is the first use the drill is uh, drill uh, ridge equipment with the anchor to bore a hole uh, to the specified depth of the depth and the diameter and the remove and the anchor and the clean out the hole to the remove the soil and the dip, uh, debris. Then lower the reinforcement cages uh, into the hole if uh, required and then the pour the concrete and uh, growth in the hole 
and while uh, simultaneously withdrawing the drilling tool. And to allow the concrete and the growth into the cure and achieve, uh, achieve the required strength. Next is scan pile and the tangent pile. The scan and the tangent pile are used to create the retaining walls or cut off walls in the soil or soft rock. Uh, construction method. So, for the scan pile is installed the series of primary piles and then secondary piles with overlapping sections. For tangent pile, install the individual piles in uh, side by the side and uh, to create the continuous walls. Then use the drilling ridge or pile drives uh, to install the piles and ensure the proper alignment and vertically. It is depending on the design, uh, piles may be installed with the reinforcement concrete or grouting filling the gaps between the primary and the secondary piles. Next bearing piles. Bearing piles is nothing but uh, it is uh, driven through the soft uh, overlay the soil and their bottom rest on the hard bed statums. So, the end bearing piles act the vertical column or piers. So, the, they create the medium to transfer the structural load uh, through the piles to the hard under the uh, statums. So, the soft pile, uh, soft soil also provide lateral support to the piles uh, to increase the soil bearing capacity. Next friction file. When the over, uh, overlay soil is for large depth and it is not possible to rest the bottom of end uh, the pile on the hot bed, the load is carried by the developing uh, friction between the surrounding soil and the surface the piles. So, the load bearing capacity of friction piles it can be increased by the increasing the diameter grouping of piles driving the piles for the large depth and making the pile surface rough. Next sheet pile. So, these types of piles are used to act the retaining wall or to construct the retaining wall to ducts or other marine works to retain the side of the foundation trench uh, to protect the erosion of river bank to confine the soil to increase the bearing capacity to isolate the foundation from surrounding soil to protect the foundation from erosion by sea or river. So, the construction of a sheet pile. So, the first drive the sheet pile into the ground using the impact force uh, and a vibratory hammer and a hydraulic pressure. The interlock the sheet pile to create the continuous wall. So, the sheet pile it can be used the temporary or permanent application for the retain wall uh, or cut off walls. Next anchor piles. These piles, piles provide the anchorage ang uh, against the horizontal pulls and thrust. Then batter files. These files are driven in inclined uh, to resist the horizontal and inclined uh, force more uh, suitably. Then fender file. These files are piles made the timber are mainly protect the breathing ships uh, for, from damage. So they also protect the uh, concrete deck or uh, waterfront structures from the impact caused by ships. Next compaction piles. These piles are driven through the granular soil to increase the bearing capacity of weak soil. Next classification based on the material. One is the timber pile, concrete pile, sheet pile, composite pile, sand pile. These are the material various classification based on the material. Next coffer dam. Coffer dam is a temporary structure that exclude the water from the uh, given site to uh, enable the construction on dry uh, surface. That uh, we have the different types of coffer dam. One is the earthen coffer dam, rock field coffer dam, single wall coffer dam, double wall coffer dam, crib uh, coffer dam, cellular coffer dam. Next, cation foundation. Cation is the watertight surface uh, made of wood, steel, or reinforcement concrete. It excavates the for foundation of bridges and piers. So, this type of foundation is mostly used in uh, bridge piers construction and other structure is required the foundation underneath the water. Then different types of cation, one is the open cation, box box uh, cation, uh, pneumatic cation, these are the various types of cation. So, the construction method of cation, first uh, we can use the drill the ridge uh, to create the hole in the ground using the either drying, uh, dry or wet method. Then uh, lower cation into the hole and uh, to fill with the uh, water to uh, counter uh, to buoyancy uh, during the uh, sinking process. Then lowering the 
cation further into the hole while removing the removing the soil or water from the inside it. Once the cation is reached the required depth, uh, pump the concrete or grout into the while slowly withdraw the entire tools. Then allow the concrete or grout to the cure and gain strength. Thank you.